welcome to my very first Watch What You Eat Wednesday, uh, a vlog slash series I announced in my last Whip and Chat. And some of you actually said that you wanted to watch it. Um, and what is Watch What You Eat Wednesday? Well, I found out that I've never been so happy as I am. Well, as I was last week. Um, and I really needed to start losing some weight. Uh, I had to get a larger size pants at work. That really hurt. That really, really hurt. And so I decided to go back to my healthy eating pattern, uh, which would be just about anything other than that, what that I was doing since I had been eating takeout like five times a week. And I would get my lunches at the gas station and I would eat a lot of fried food and I would drink a lot of calories and yeah. Um, so I set myself the goal to look good in my bikini in March since then we'll be going on a trip with my colleagues and I might need to wear my swimsuit. So that's a good, good reason to start losing some weight. Um, and with all of that I started thinking about what I should do and the first thing I did was lose all the liquid calories so I used to drink a lot of uh, fruit water and the one that comes in the plastic bottles and that's totally not healthy and has a lot of calories you don't see and you don't feel in your stomach so I skipped those and that was around I think I lost some 400 calories just by that, yeah. And I skipped my cappuccinos, which I'm really missing. I really love my cappuccinos. Uh, but I tend to lose, uh, get a lot of liquid calories in. And those are the easiest to skip for me. I've been drinking lots of tea. I've been making sure I drink less coffee. I was at eight to nine cups a day. Uh, and now I'm drinking a liter and a half of tea every day, which is good. I like my teas. I've got lots of flavors, so I, I can keep changing them up. Um, and last week, getting into a healthy eating rhythm was a bit difficult. I had night shifts, meaning I woke up late. I had to go and cook and have breakfast and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, first thing I did I was starting to get my breakfast with uh, oats back on track uh, I love uh, warm oats I love overnight oats um, oats on its own don't have a lot of flavor but you can add all kinds of healthy flavor to it um, so I will be showing you my uh, recipe for overnight oats and you can mix it up yourself if you want to, if you want to lose weight with me, that's awesome. Of course, I'm very curious to hear what you like. And the plan is that I'll film one recipe a week uh, of things I love to eat uh, when I'm trying to lose weight. Um, so I started at 86.2 kilos last Monday, not the one, but a week ago. And um, I started eating all kinds of healthy vegetables, lots of fresh vegetables. Um, I really went crazy on all the vegetables. I've been snacking on carrots. I love carrots, so that's a good thing. But yeah, I would be driving home from a night shift with 200 grams of carrots and I've been eating them like crazy. Um, and I just I work out normally like once in a week. That's my regular schedule. I might up it sometimes when I have the time to actually do it. But at the moment I'm still too busy trying to figure out what I want to eat. Uh, since sometimes I don't know and sometimes I'm a little bit stretched on time. Um, and I'm a firm believer of um, the Dutch saying, ieder, mondje gaat door het, uh, sorry, ieder potje gaat door het mondje, uh, which kind of means that every pound you gain comes from eating. 
um, and Lovely said every 5,000 calories, give or take, will give you gain, gain you one, with one kilo or will lose you one kilo. Uh, so I started using an app in which I can track everything I eat. It is a food app, it's free and it's also linked to my fitness app. So uh, all the calories I burn doing fitness, I, you know, a small portion of that goes back into my food section and it tells me that I need to eat more to get to the set level to, to maintain my rhythm. Um, and it helps me keep track of things because it's very hard to put in non-healthy foods. And I did slip. I did have a bag of crisp and I did have a burger last week. Um, and in my defense I always eat fast food when I come out of my night shift. It's something of a ritual. It's set in and I really, really, really crave cr fast food when I'm done with my night shift. It's kind of a reward. Uh, so I started off real good with some oats and then I went out and I was feeling a bit, a bit hungry and on the way back I drove past a fast food chain so I kind of gave in and got something to eat. Um, but yeah, uh, I actually started looking at the calories I would need to eat to maintain my current weight and the calories I need to eat at least to keep my normal body functions working. So, um, and anything in between that will lose you weight. So depending how far you are from the maintain part, you'll lose weight much faster and the more you cl come close to it, not so much. But everything under your uh, normal rate of calories which will keep you at the same weight. In the end, at the moment you hit the 5,000, you will roughly lose one kilo. Um, well, that's the science. Um, so I picked somewhere around uh, 1,600 calories I'm trying to eat at the moment, um, which is real hard because when I'm eating healthy, it means that I've got huge, huge portions and I'm not a big eater. Um, so I've been stuffing myself for the last week uh, and I'm still not eating enough according to my trainer. Uh, because in the last week I lost almost two kilos which equals to a little bit over four pounds. Yeah, that wasn't the plan. I planned on losing 800 grams. Yeah, so which would be half a pound, roughly, um, a little bit less, a little bit more, I don't know. Pounds are difficult, we don't use pounds. Uh, so that's what I planned to, to lose, and I lost two in one week. Um, and I'm not a healthcare, well, I'm, I'm a healthcare professional, so yeah, I, I know about health, but I'm not, not a dietitian. I love food, I love food that tastes good. Um, and I try to keep my sauces, my portions and everything within a range. And yeah, I do the counting calorie part and I know not everybody's fan of that, but some things are so easy to scratch and uh, will keep you full. Um, so I started doing the, the good snacking and uh, all the things that will keep me satisfied for a long, long while. Um, and since my trainer was a bit upset that I lost two kilos in one week, which is way too much according to him, um, I'm, I've been adding calories the last few days. Yeah, so the science doesn't really work because I lost too much weight. But okay, I'm okay with it. At the moment I'm okay with it. I'm still feeling full, I'm feel full of energy. Uh, I know where to go at the moment um, and for this week I actually filmed a couple of sections things that I love eating um, and 
yeah, just lots and lots of vegetables and lots of eggs. I love myself some eggs. Um, and I think they, they keep me full. I actually use them as a snack as well. Uh, eggs, bo boiled eggs, eggs on toast, eggs on in a salad as a part of my dinner. I don't know. I've been eating so many eggs. I don't know how I even manage to eat all of those eggs um, and keep them still taste good. Yes. Taste is everything. The moment you get me a bowl of just salad greens with some tomatoes and some sauce, I'm like, eh, it doesn't taste, it doesn't taste good. Um, so yeah, I've been eating steak, I've been eating chicken, I've been eating all kinds of stuff and it's been good. It has been good. Uh, it does come with one downside, which is a lot of washing up to do and a lot of prepping and a lot of time and effort put into my diet at the moment. Uh, and since I weigh just about everything, uh, I actually have a notebook in my kitchen kitchen to write down the grams of everything that I put into my meal and it's a bit exhausting but it is good um, and yeah that's kind of the plan so if you want to join me and if you want to know more about how I managed to lose weight in this race I have no idea by the way I don't know uh, I, I, the only thing I know is that the moment I start eating healthy, I start losing weight fast. Um, and that's been like that all my life. And it's been driving my sister a bit crazy. Um, since when we were younger, we would go on a diet um, with the entire family. Um, most of the time, not for me. I've been skinny. Well, I was skinny when I was younger. I was. I was so skinny. I had no shape at all, uh, just a stick. Um, but the rest of the family doesn't have that luck, so we would go on a diet as a family. And with all that, it would end up with me losing weight that I didn't have, and me being hungry and eating four apples a day and still being hungry. Um, and the rest of the family just didn't lose weight. So that was insane. That's been like that all my life. Uh, the last time I really, really tried losing weight, I lost around 10 kilos in 12 weeks. Uh, and it went real fast as well. And yeah, I, I don't know how, why. Um, all I know is that I'm at the moment I'm not hungry at all, I'm full. Um, sometimes I'm so full that I actually want to skip a meal because I'm not feeling like eating. Um, but yeah, I've been really, really thinking of ways to keep on eating without getting all, all kinds of And that's how I'm feeling every night so far after dinner. Uh, since my normal dinners are some french fries with a burger or something like that, or Chinese food. Real good Chinese food. Uh, and some fried food, of, of course. Somehow that doesn't fill me up, but eating noodles with some Chinese cabbage and steak will get me full in like five seconds and then I'm not even half past my portion. Um, and portion sizes are important. Um, portions in Europe are much, much smaller than those in the US. Um, we tend to eat per portion about half, uh, and it's best seen in, in fast food menus. That's insane, guys. I, I don't think I could eat all, no, I, I can't. That's just too much. They're, your burgers, they're huge, guys, they're huge. And um, they've grown exponentially over the years. Uh, 
in the Netherlands as well. Um, I think a little bit more in America, but I'm no expert. I don't know what I'm doing. I, all I know is that it works for me and hopefully in this series you'll find some nice recipes and nice tips to lose some weight with me and of course um, yeah I hope it works for you as well um, but for me the key is just keep tracking my calories uh, eating enough um, and with enough you, you need to eat over your base metabolism rate so you need to eat over for me the uh, almost 1200 calories I need to eat over that otherwise you'll just be lethargic you won't have any energy to do anything uh, and the moment you start overeating your body will see that as yes food and they'll store everything um, and I know I tend to do that as well. So on a Saturday when I don't feel like going out, I'll just eat whatever I can find in the store cupboard cabin. Um, I think I might hit a thousand calories and that's it. And then I'm not full, I'm not hungry. I, I don't really have, have issues with feeling hungry after, but that's just me. Um, so with all that said, um, let's look at what I eat, ate, what I ate, oh sorry, English number one today, English number one. It's not working, but hey, ju let's just look at the recipes I filmed for you, um, and I'll see you afterwards. So this is just one of my breakfast ideas. Uh, I'm out of my night shift just now, and I wanted something that was filling but sweet so I'll have a cup of coffee and I have some oats and these are just plain rolled oats mixed with almond milk a banana one spoon of Nutella and that's it that's it just Pop everything in the pan, keep stirring, and you'll get this lovely chocolatey, banana-like substance, and it's really good. Um, I use 90 grams of oats to 250 milliliters of milk, and it's really gooey and really thick, and that's how I like it. Um, it's not really cooking, it's just popping everything in the pan, but it's really good. Um, and this breakfast will keep me going for quite a long while. So uh, I'm gonna dig in. So guys, this is one of my lunches I really love making. Uh, it is homemade avocado egg salad, part with some uh, cherry tomatoes. The egg salad is very simple, it's just half of an avocado with one egg, some curry powder, a tiny bit of mayonnaise, salt, pepper, and I always add some lime to stop the avocado from turning brown. It just looks less appealing. Um, and this entire lunch comes to less than 400 calories and it keeps me full for quite a while. There are a lot of fibers in the uh, crackers I use. And of course the avocado also has lots of crackers. So I'm really gonna enjoy this lunch today. Hope you like it. So this week's recipe, it's gonna be my favorite breakfast uh, that I'm gonna cook for you. It's the thing that I love eating while I'm trying to make sure I don't put on weight, uh, lose some weight. Um, and I found it on wolfully.com I'll link it down below in the description section uh, and I've customized it a million times so far um, so what do we need we need some plain rolled oats no sugar added just rolled oats we need some uh, chia seed seeds we need some cottage, cottage cheese we need vanilla essence. Uh, I use vanilla paste just because I have it. 
uh, for this recipe we're going also will be needing the easy well it's a honey just some plain honey um, and you're gonna need uh, some liquid and for this day I'm using this this is actually coconut water uh, which I've infused with chai tea over a couple of hours to give it a nice chai flavor but you can use just about anything uh, just milk um, but some kind of liquid and I love coconut water with it so we'll start off with our oats we're gonna need 50 grams of that and there we go all right 50 grams of oats Almost, almost, almost. Yes, and I do measure everything. My family keeps making fun of me because I do it. All right, 50 grams in there. We're gonna need two, 10 grams of chia seeds. So just zero it out, 10 grams. All right, why I use uh, shea seed, uh, seeds in my recipe and not uh, talc seeds, I simply enjoy the bulk they create. They get real uh, bulky, they attract fluid, and yeah, they keep me full a long while. So I'm gonna need two milliliters, it's about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which is two pumps in my case, so one two there we go vanilla paste is a bit harder to work with but it's very nice we're gonna need something to sweeten it up i use honey but you could use maple syrup any kind of sweetener just try finding something that's healthy so we're needing one teaspoon sorry one tablespoon which is about Six grams. All right, there we go. We're gonna need our cottage cheese. We need ninety grams of that. There we go. Almost a bit more 90 grams to the dot. Getting good at it. All right, and then we're gonna need our liquids. So, for today, I have the chai infused coconut water. Normally, I use plain, plain water for that. And it does smell very nice. So that goes in there. And then to top it off, I want some chocolatey goodness. So I've got organic coconut powder, a uh, coconut chocolate powder. And I'm gonna add, let's just say, two teaspoons of that, which equals to six grams today. And it's not an exact sign. So if you've got the base, so your cottage cheese, your oats, your chia seed, your liquid, your vanilla, and your sweetener, you can add just about everything. So this is the first time I'm actually making this variation. And all that's left to do is to mix it up. 
So we're going to mix up our solution and oh boy, you're really going to smell the chai coming from here and it's going to mix so well with the chocolate. Uh, and unsweetened, because it's unsweetened, coca powder is just good for you. There's lots of antioxidants in it um, and it's a real pungent chocolate flavor. So try mixing it in as good as possible. Get everything nice and mixed in. And those oats will soak up. They'll go nice and soft, easy to eat. And I'll eat it like this. So tomorrow it will be thick and it will be kind of like a pudding. It is, smells good. I'm so curious how this is going to taste. Uh, my favorite, one of my favorites is chocolate and peanut butter, but also peanut butter and banana goes well. Uh, in the summer, I try adding fresh fruits. Uh, fresh fruits you need to eat the next day. Uh, this I can leave for three days in the fridge without it going bad. So. If you want a meal prep, uh, which I normally do with my uh, overnight oats, so I have my breakfast ready all days. Just pick one with fruits or veggies. Fruits would be best. And eat that one the next day and the rest just eat like this. Alrighty. Mm. Place on the lips. And this goes in the fridge overnight. And it's gonna be yummy. So guys, we're back and we just saw my recipe. So the avocado salad, the oats I'm cooked and my overnight oat recipe. And of course, if you wanna see all the variations of the overnight oats that are in the original post, uh, go to woefully.com. Uh, I'll try to link it down below. Uh, she thought of this fabulous recipe and it's one of my favorites. I've been using it for years now. Um, and I really, really hope that this series is something you like. Um, if you don't, that's okay as well. Um, but if you wanna know more, if you want me to continue, just let me know down below. Um, and if you have any tips or things you want to see uh, or hear or want me to address, let's just put it down below. I'll look at it. I'll try to um, follow your instructions. I think it's going to be a two weekly uh, theme, uh, switching it up with my Wicked Wednesdays. Um, but you never know. You never know. Uh, so far, I'm happy um, and I really liked filming all my food stuff. Um, but I do, do hope you enjoy it because that's what I do it for. Uh, so if you do, let me know. Um, and if you really, really like it, just give me those thumbs up. And if you just join my channel for this video, uh, well, I, I normally do crafts um, and this is just something I kind of edit in for my own sake, so I'm responsible um, and I'm accountable, but hey, let's just hear me, let's hear your thoughts because it's new for me and you all know I don't show my face that often, so let me know. Um, and. I will see you in my next video, which most likely will be crafts related. So, see ya!